Can Pakistani currency become the top global performing currency? To answer this question, I'll refer back to the report by Bloomberg, which said it's the best performing currency this month, like in September, because it appreciated, I think, 6% against the dollar, which is correct, actually, because if you look at other uh, currencies of the world that are packed against US dollar, so Pakistani rupee appreciated the most. But you need to put this in context because this appreciation was not driven by any external factor like it's not that our exports have gone significantly up or there's a big boost in our remittances or there's a big drop, sudden drop in our imports. So it was driven by regulatory actions by the government. They have cracked down on uh, grey channels like hoarding or illegal smuggling of dollars so which basically ease pressures uh, from the demand side and uh, since Pakistani currency was falling so fast against the dollar that even exporters were not in the market, they were waiting because they were expecting Pakistani rupee to depreciate further so they can take advantage of that. But then because of this crackdown, they got the signal and uh, they have come back to the market, they're selling. Plus obviously because of the crackdown on illegal channels, there is some uh, ease uh, in terms of demand from local sides. So that has brought the prices down and depending on how, how strict and how long this crackdown uh, may be, it can drop a bit further but I don't see it dropping like too much like to say it will come down to 250 or less I don't see that happening um, yeah it may come down maybe another 3-4% 5% who knows but since this is driven by regulatory actions and they can only go far and um, another thing to look at is basically the rupee fell so much like it went to like 307 rupees to a dollar so that I would call it a correction because it should not have dropped so much in the first place. So it's basically now sort of correcting itself because uh, the external factors like the lack, lack short of dollar, shortage of dollars and or a team balance on the external side that may have driven uh, the dollar price up to an extent. And obviously dollar is gaining strength internationally as well. But then if the Pakistani rupee, for example, was supposed to say drop to 290, it actually went to say 307. And some of the reasons was like panic driven momentum and uh, obviously the grey channels people were holding on to it so because when currency is rising people hold so that they can cash on later on a higher price so th these were the factors behind it so I, I, I call it a correction rather than appreciation can it become top performing currency or whether this crackdown will sustain longer well then again I think the government can answer this question better whether this crackdown will sustain but definitely any crackdown can only bring correction in the market and obviously that will make some difference and it, this is good news because the currency was rising very sharply I'm talking about dollar and obviously rupee was falling so this is some respite some relief um, but at the same time I don't see it persisting for a long time because you need to correct your external balances like you need to boost your exports you need to have balance between your import and export you just can't afford to spend you know two dollar versus uh, every dollar you earn so this imbalance will keep uh, putting your currency under pressure so for the time being yes this is a relief whether it will become top performing currency i don't think so because that's what this was a correction as you have curved the gray channels now it has brought the prices down it may you know bring it down further a little bit but i don't think it's it's gonna come to like 250 or even less than that for that obviously you need to have strong exports uh, consistent flow of remittances and obviously you need to also pay attention to your imports uh, you don't import unnecessary items or expensive items because we are an import dependent country and we are a consumption led economy so that keeps our currency under pressure so i hope that explain things and put things in context